Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you. Take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. This message is, <laughs> you know, I really don't wish, I really don't wish um, bad or evil on anyone. But I hear the Lord say, what they were planning just turned upon their heads. It just turned upon their head. In other words, the thing that you experience that make them to laugh at you, it is what they are experiencing now. But not that you were praying for them to experience it. It is something, I don't know the right word to use, like, reaping what you sow they are reaping what they sow they are reaping what they sow but i pray that the lord show mercy if they're willing to change if they're willing to realize their mistake you know many people will never change until they find themselves in the same situation where they put others where they put others it's just like locking somebody up as a prisoner innocently and the person no longer has freedom. The person no longer has liberty. The person that locked this person up will never know how it feels until the day that he or she is also forcefully accused, put in that same place, locked up. That is when they will not start to realize that, ah, this was a very wrong move. <laughs> this was a very wrong move. So people will never change until they experience until, they, uh, until God showed them change in a very hard way. Look at what happened to Pharaoh. Pharaoh never changed. The Bible said Moses performed a lot of miracles in the land of Egypt. From the frog, from this, from the locust, from the death of every firstborn. But Pharaoh refused to change. Who will, who will never change, will never change. No matter what you did, you do for them, they will not change. They will find that happiness, that contentment in hurting others, enslaving others. Now I hear this, what they are experiencing the same thing that they did to you. It's becoming to be clear to them now that, okay, what was done to you is happening to them. It is happening to them. Hallelujah. They will not even change until they use their own hands to destroy themselves. Until they use their own hands to run into the, into the sea. They saw the rest. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God. Now that they are beginning to change. That they are beginning to realize. But you need to be very careful as well. Yes, they are changing. But you know, change comes with time. You cannot just say, oh, this person just confirmed, conf con confessed changes today. You just dive in, you start there, everything, you start releasing yourself. No, you can nurture them if you are close to them. Nurture them with the word of God, let them keep growing and all of that. <laughs> because if you don't do that, what happened before will happen again. It will happen again because now that they are experiencing what you experience and they felt so bad about it. If you easily just release yourself like this, you just embrace everything. It will look as if they will not value that we should give to them. Sometimes give people reason to value the chances, the things you are giving to them. Give them time to value it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now they are realizing the truth. Because I hear the Lord say, what they plan is falling upon their head. May the Lord comfort those who are willing to change. May the Lord bring, in, bring them back to himself. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remember your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.